And we are recording and ready to go. Okay, sounds good. Uh, well, let's see. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, the Chaos uh, Value Group. Uh, today is Friday, the 19th of April. And um, let's just go through our, our agenda that we have up here. Uh, so um, on our notes, uh, first agenda item is to review our action items from last week, uh, to talk about software implementation of value metrics. Um, I would like to uh, add entries to Georg's uh, focus area worksheet for the value group. I think we could take a crack at that together uh, today. And um, also personally, uh, last week we talked about uh, putting together a grant tracking type of a worksheet to, to track uh, grant opportunities. And I'd love to get that started today if we have time. Is there anything else that people would like to talk about? Uh, yeah, so I had one item which was with this group um, because of last week, there was an expressed interest of really working on the tooling in line with the metrics. You yeah. know what I mean? Keeping those two um, really close to one another. And I, I agree. I totally agree with that. And I brought that up with the common working group and they would also like to do the same thing. And I think risk could do something very similar. Would you ever want to try to parcel out time in this call to try to do some of that work? I'd be up for it. Um, okay. And, and what would that what would that represent? Would that be re re writing requirements, or would it be talking about implementation approach, or it might be taking a look at? It could be a variety of things, but it you know it could be taking a look at like a data schema <laughs> and actually seeing what was available in a schema and what you can and can't do. Yes. Uh, it might actually be kind of like wireframing um, what. <laughs> what the output might look like it might be I don't know what anything along the kind of the development path yeah uh, so um, I, I think it'd be great to have a standing sort of discussion item mm -hmm. for software implementation and also a standing discussion item for you know grants actually mm -hmm. so those are those are some things that I think I'd like to talk about every week yeah, no, that sounds good. And maybe on the if if there was actually an interest in trying to move the metrics forward during the call, maybe there could be an identified metric, like in the prior week, that people could bring efforts to the next call. Um, yeah, uh, that sounds fine. Now, now, just in terms of um, you know uh, sort of an approach, Matt. Uh, I would like to pick one metric and you know, really get it working end to end. So I'd yep. like to, I'd like to go deep. Yep. You know, okay. rather than, than broad. And as, you know, as soon as we get one metric kind of implemented then we say, okay, that one's done, you know, what, what's next on the highest priority. Great. So I think that would align with kind of what I was talking about. Kind of like pick, pick that metric, whatever that metric might be. Right. And, and it's, it's the candidate metric that gets kind of uncovered. Right. Every week. Right. Okay, cool. Okay. That sounds good. And I, I think our metric is the, the is the labor investment metric that we talked about last week. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think it would be good if um, if you know there was there was one person who was kind of the the lead person or or the focus person for the software implementation and. You know, probably, um, uh, probably that's going to be Sean, at least w with regards to the vision, and um, and you know maybe if Harshal gets accepted for the Google Summer Code, maybe maybe Harshal is also you know kind of th that lead person for the for the software implementation. So, so in that standing uh, discussion. You know, probably that's going to be led by Sean or or Harshal or some combination of the two or whoever else comes along to, you know, really get involved in that. Sure. Yeah. 
Sure. Or even, I mean, trying to identify somebody directly at Patergia slash Grimoire Lab. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, who could, who could make this call? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so that sounds great. So um, let's see. Uh, would it make sense to just go through the list of agenda items then? Um, start by talking about action items from last week. Yep. Okay, um, <laughs> I see some action items with my name associated with it. Uh, so, and I have not done either one, so I... I uh, All right, well, moving forward then. <laughs> so, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> let's start out with me uh, hanging, hanging my head in shame. And, uh, There's no shame in this. No, there's not. <laughs> We're all busy. That's understandable. Yeah, and uh, so I'll try and get to that next week. Um, and I think um, I think those are our only open items. So yeah, yeah I think so. Okay. And I think last last week we kind of brainstormed on grants that might be able to go into that. Yep. Okay, and um, so I think that's all there is to say on that agenda item now. Yep, agreed. Shall we talk about software implementation of the value metrics and, you know, just talk a little bit about what we envision and, and what kind of effort it, it's going to require? Sounds good. Yeah, I wish Sean were here for this. Yeah. So, because <laughs> I don't want to speak on his behalf. I mean, okay. I think there's always an interest in in getting these deployed, but in terms well, of how it fits in his schedule, I'm not entirely sure. Well, maybe we can maybe we can just just talk high level and and just express um, sure the vision, the vision that we have about how it might work, and then we can you know, tune that up when Sean is on the call next week. Sure. So, I mean, I think you're thinking about both Grimoire Lab and Augur, just thinking about the UI structure that both of them have. Mm -hmm. the, the goal for Grimoire Lab, in my mind, is to create panels mm -hmm. using their, their Kibana interface. Yeah. And each one of those panels is representative of the different working groups. So there would be a panel for risk. There would be a panel for uh, value. You get the idea. Yeah. Um, so, and I know that the folks at um, Grimoire Lab have been amenable to this approach. Mm -hmm. So, you know, perhaps one of our points of investigation is the deployment of a value panel. Mm -hmm. And what that would look like. I think that if that happened out of this value group, that would be the first group to actually do such a thing. You know, like contribute a panel back to Grimoire Lab. And that would, it would be great because it would kind of set the workflow on how to get that done. Yeah. For other working groups. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course on the panels are the specific metrics themselves. So then I think that's kind of another question of deploying the metrics using the using the Grimoire Lab, you know, the Percival data data aggregator in the back. Um, and then as far as Augur goes, Augur takes a tab structure. So they have tabs across the top. So like an evolution tab and a risk tab and a value tab. And honest, you know, it's kind of the same as the panels, right? So the idea would be how to, I think it's less about how to create the tab because it's already there, but then how to, how to legitimately populate things on those tabs. So that's my high level approach. Well, that sounds great. Um, the, the thing that I think makes this maybe a little bit interesting and a little different is that you know, last week we came up with this idea of parameterized uh, dashboards where, 
for example, maybe we would um, we could calculate the you know we could we could measure let's say the number of pull requests on a project, and then the parameter might be what's the economic value, the average economic value of each pull request. And that might be different uh, organization to organization. So, um, so I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure how uh, parameterized um, uh, metric would work in Kibana. I haven't worked with Kibana. Yeah, that's a good question. And same with Augur. That's a, those are good questions. Um, so that'd be something for us to investigate. Yep. So one thing we could, one thing we could do is we could ask for a volunteer to go off and do just some real, uh, simple investigation of how might that work. At least to come up with a theory, a theory of of. I I can easily connect with Sean on that, so I'll do that okay. on the auger side. That's easy enough. Yeah. In the um, chat and in the minutes document, I posted a link to Augur. This is a sample um, of a project and their value page. And so right now the value page is empty. And so I think, Matt, what you were saying is that this is where the metric with live that you want to develop. What are you talking about, Augur? Augur, yes. Yep, exactly, 100%. And so then Andy's question is how on that page, um, how easy is it to allow for people to input parameters that are relevant to them? And so I just, I don't know the answer to that because right now everything is, in you know, Augur basically just, you know, put a, put a URL to a GitHub repository, for example. Um, but that's, that's really the extent of the interaction at the moment. So I think right now, because we want to start with issues, it would be a matter of tweaking that value page to add the issue information, which already exists in the growth maturity and decline tab. So the first step might be sim for someone to go in look at the source code, figure out how, what it is, how it's done in growth maturity and decline, and replicate the exact same code on the value page, just for commits. Sure, that sounds awesome. And, and I'll, I'll propose a, an approach for the simplest possible way of allowing parameterization. And my proposal is we, we export the metrics in CSV and people could load them up into their spreadsheet and then build their own spreadsheet formulas with their own parameters. Well, I know that um, Augur already allows you to do that with, I think it's a JSON output. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's even easier, right? You're right. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, Augur already does that. It's not CSV, but okay. same difference. And that same difference, but it's <laughs> some, some output that can be parsed. Yeah. Okay. So, so that, that could be our kind of like level zero implementation of parameterized metrics. Here's your JSON. Um, Here's how you convert JSON into CSV and load it up into a spreadsheet. You know, here's an example of how you can apply your own parameters to get values that are relevant to your unique situation. Yep, good idea.
Okay, so I wrote this in the minutes. Yep. So I think I captured the idea correctly. Yeah, I think that's right. And looking at the JSON file, I think there is some, I don't know how, whether Excel allows importing JSON or whether we need to have a converter. I think you'd need to convert it. Uh, there, there is a tool called JQ. It's a, it's a command line utility that um, I think you can, I think you can configure JQ to generate CSV, you know, without having to, you know, dip down into Python or something like that. So that, that'd be something worth looking at. Whatever the, um, is it only, I was going to say, whatever the case, JSON is a pretty friendly, a friendly output one way or the other. Yep, there is. Well, I was just thinking about bridging from the JSON to the Excel sheet. That is where we want to have the parameterization. And so we need to somehow import JSON to Excel. And I just tried it on the fly and it, does not work, no. at least not with what I just tried. So I, I think we do need to convert it somehow. Mm -hmm. Did you add that tool to the um, minutes? No, I did not see it. Um, oh, I should have, sorry. Look it up. I just Googled convert JSON to CSV and there's a convert CSV.com page yeah. where I posted the, um, the JSON file. And then I got back a CSV file and let's see if I can open it in Excel. Mm -hmm. There I go. That was easy. Okay. So we can I can post the link here in the minutes. Okay. Okay, so there's a website. Okay, so J so it looks like JSON you know, we've already got our export format. That's awesome. Yep. And so if you follow the steps, you get a list of, I think, weekly summaries of how many commits. Mm -hmm. And then adding a column with your assumption and parameters is fairly easy. Yeah. Okay. Hey, man, we're just uh, making insane progress here. With well, the next step would be to document all this um, in our repository. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, that's great. So is there, is there anything um, anyone else wants to talk about with regards to implementation of value metrics or software process in general? No, I was just looking at the OPNFV, the Batergia one. Mm -hmm. 
to see if they allowed it. I didn't. A little. Um, here, I'll put it in the chat. Oops. For a sec. Apparently, I can't paste anything. Uh, I don't know why I can't paste from the chat. Put it in here. Ah, maybe that's why I can't paste it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Anyway, I was looking at the at the Bitter, the Grimoire Lab dashboards, and just seeing if there was a way to get that output, but. I don't see it right off the bat. That's all. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So can we add a to-do item just to say that we need to explore um, how to do parameterized metrics? Uh, so we've we've talked about the simplest approach, but but maybe there's another approach which is yeah. Thank you. And then, are there any specific questions right now that this exploration can start to answer? Uh, uh, like uh, for the, uh, suppose uh, we are considering the focus area living page. So it is with respect to the developer's perspective, like which project he a developer should, invo should uh, involve himself to uh, uh, to get a uh, more profit or uh, get a better living we that is with respect to the developer's pers perspective now yeah so like first we would need to uh, define the matrix which would be relevant to the focus area like uh, the matrix could be the number of folks or clones of a particular repo like if there if it is a if the project is uh, more popular and uh, more famous so it would have more clones and folks than something other than this some uh, uh, there may be a matrix like uh, uh, what is the time duration for a first response for a pull request that's the matrix we are having in a wggmd working group so that can be relevant here as well if the uh, maintainers are active in the project so that would be uh, that would the response time would be low for any pull request and uh, it would be better to get involved in that particular project yeah those are good metrics like uh, what i'm what i'm trying to say is that uh, we would first need to figure out the matrix uh, that needs to be implemented for the focus areas so i think what you're talking about Ashal is the living wage metric uh, yeah. area. Yeah. As an example, we can uh, talk about the living wage matrix. Well, th that's the individual developer perspective. And so one question is how popular is a project? So if you go to the page, the Google doc that I just posted in the minutes, I'm adding your questions in this living wage document. Okay. We can also have uh, in priority only we can hold, uh, we can have number of folks of the project or number of clones. If the project is widely used uh, and it is a big project, then it would be having. Can you can you add that real quick because I can only type one thing at a time. Yeah, would be great.
some whistling going on. <laughs> yep. So I think we have a good good number of questions for living wage. This just out of nowhere we improved the focus area on living wage. It was really awesome. Um, I know this was not the main uh, focus area that we wanted to focus on, but it's always good to get the ideas down and document them. So any more thoughts on living wage? Because otherwise we can return to the labor investment metric. Yeah, we can return to the labor investment metrics. Uh, labor investment, like, uh, I would just like to understand uh, about the labor investment uh, focus area. That is uh, with respect to how much uh, how much work is being invested in a particular project. That that is that is a metric that would measure the amount of efforts that have been put in a particular project. I I like I was just trying to understand about this focus area, labor investment. Yeah, so labor investment is the perspective of an organization, uh, not the individual developer. And so this is what we've been talking about with regards to implementing, where we wanted to start with the first one. I'm going to highlight this in a nice color, green. So um, just a quick question on living wage is the hope, could we put it in the minutes, is the hope to get this issued as a pull request into the repository now? Or do we want to work on it a little bit more? Um, I, I don't know. Does anyone think living wage is ready to move into the repository or should we leave it open? I think it's a good start and knowing how the other working group started, having a list of five items in a focus area is a good contribution to the repository and good starting place. Yeah, I mean, the way I look at it is these are always malleable things. And if it needs to change later, no problem. Well, I'm usually in favor of pushing things out to the repository. Yeah. I think the the document, the Google Doc, served its purpose by allowing us to quickly innovate on it today. And then we can innovate more on it through pull requests in the repository. Agreed. I'm happy to issue the pull request. I'll add an action item to myself. That'd be good. So thank you, Harshal, for kicking off the discussion on living wage. So guys, I have to drop off because I have to be somewhere at noon today. Okay. Thanks for joining, Matt. Thanks, bye. Yeah, thanks, bye. Okay. Shall we continue in our agenda, Andy? You're muted, Andy. If you have been silent the entire time without intending to, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Uh, next item on the agenda is um, add entries to the focus area worksheet. That's, you, that's your spreadsheet that, that you uh, posted, Georg. 
I, I believe it was for maybe DNI, and we said, oh, we're going to make one tab for every working group. Does, uh, that, does that ring any bells? I, I know. Sorry, which spreadsheet are we talking about? Uh, there was a spreadsheet that you shared, which, um, which showed focus areas and metrics. And you had a, you had a nice um, structure where you prioritized metrics for different focus areas. I believe this is for DNI. And it was color coded depending on the number of votes for each metric. Oh, I see which one you mean. This is the um, level of completeness spreadsheet that DNI had developed. Yeah. And, uh, new G entries. And, and what I recall was we were, we were going to make a separate tab on that for each working group. So, the value of this spreadsheet for diversity and inclusion was to uh, determine which metrics to focus on. Um, that the value group already know has that answer, so okay. I don't know what the value is to adding okay. this to the spreadsheet. So let's skip it. And all of the metrics that we have are. <laughs> would have the same color, basically, because we are just starting. The level of completeness is identical. Okay. Uh, in that case, then let's just skip it. Yeah, but but you're right. We did talk about adding this in the um, during the weekly call and thinking more about it. I just, as I said, don't think it adds any value for the value group. Yep. Okay. Then the next thing we said we would do would be to the next thing on our agenda is um, to have a grant tracking spreadsheet. Yep, and I believe that is already covered by the um, action item that okay. you had from last week to add this table to the repository. Yeah, okay. So should I post the action item again or was there something else? Yeah, just post it. No, I, I will. Um, uh, uh, I will do that. Um, if there's something else you want to talk about, you can. Uh, no, why don't we just do this? Here's the, here's the link to the, the Google Doc, the Google Spreadsheet. So I'll do the first pass as a, as a Google uh, Spreadsheet. And then once I've, once I've got that done, the second pass will be, I'll, I'll put it in a table in the repo. Can you make sure everyone has edit rights because I can't edit it? Yep. Let's see here. Uh, I'm going to open an issue in the repository so that we have a link from the repository to the spreadsheet. Okay. Okay, so now, now anybody can edit that spreadsheet. Okay, perfect. Okay, here one second. I'm almost there. I'm going to add a column above 
your headings. Thunder, I assume you mean the, the agency that grants the money? So granting agency, yeah. What's opportunity? I'm gonna call it grant program. Sounds good. Um, publication deadline. Last time we talked about having a description. Um, description, uh, but I don't remember what we meant with description. Was this description of program of the fit of our idea and how we fit. I remember that priority, or then the minutes say that priority was about whether it's a direct hit or out of band. Yeah. RFP link. I assume that's the link to the to, call the, call. to the granting agency. Yeah. And response link is our response. Yes. So maybe it's grant proposal. Fine. And then next step. Application deadline. Maybe we can put uh, granting agency and program into one column, just make it a little shorter. What do you think? That sounds good. Oops. What's lead? That's the person who would be the lead person for writing the proposal or coordinating. Oh, okay, I see. Um, we, we call them PIs, primary investigator. Awesome. What's, what do you mean with value?
the amount of the grant. Gotcha. Yep. Dollar value. That makes sense. I think this is awesome. Yep, this is pretty good. Now, last time we already, um, if you go back to the meeting minutes from April 12th, yeah, let's, we had already identified a few. Yeah, let's see, let's see yeah. if we can fill this in a little bit. I'm gonna start from the bottom. Strong fit. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to do a little cleanup on your. I activated text wrapping. Okay, gotcha. So that we get multiple lines. I'm going to change application deadline to next deadline. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to leave the application deadline because even if it's a letter of intent, it's still something that we need to yeah. submit. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of this RFP column and, and just have a link on the, on, the grant, on the granting agency and program. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So Georg, it, uh, now that we're doing this together, I think it should stay as a spreadsheet because this joint editing is, is killer. And every week we're gonna wanna go through this and, and you know, add entries, remove entries. Okay. Yeah, we have the, um, we, we can just add a link to the readme then to this document, that's fine. Right. I think that's the way to go. Yep. As we we always innovate and improve our ways. So <laughs> Yeah, on the fly. Yep. 
Okay. We don't need these notes, right? Gone. Okay, I'm gonna, where did I put this? Okay, I added it to the meeting minutes that we created the spreadsheet and it's tracked currently from issue number 19. Awesome, thank you. So I think this is good. Yep, we made progress. Yep. So we've got three minutes left before uh, the turn of the hour. Um, I'm gonna remove your action item. Yeah. Oh, or I'm gonna say, um, issue 19. Yeah. I'm just restructuring the, uh, the minutes so they read better. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? I think we talked about everything we wanted to talk about. Yeah, everything on our agenda. Um, another great uh, hour. We just made nonstop, process, nonstop progress every minute. Yeah, this is uh, slow and steady wins the race. Um, they've been <laughs> working on, on chaos for, for two years now and it's every week just a little bit more, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. and it, it takes a long time. Um, so I, I really like that we are focusing on one metric and focus our efforts there. Yeah, so. me too. Uh, Maybe just before we go, just a quick um, discussion of um, are there any agenda items that we would like for next week? If none come to mind, then we'll just wrap it up. Um. Review action items, recurring time for software implementation for grants. Yep. I think I think that's a good start. Me too. Harshal or Venu, any any other um, ideas or uh, feedback before you wrap it up? Uh, uh, not for now. Uh, like I would try to uh, first uh, get some more idea about the value working group and what are the what are the main aim of the focus areas and then maybe. 
Yeah, we also have Vinu on the call. Vinu, did you have something else you want to add? Maybe he's not on the call. So let's take that as a no. Okay, then thank you everyone. I'm stopping the recording. Have a good weekend and see you all next week. Thanks guys.